Lynn Rose. And welcome back to News 5 at 5 on this Tuesday. We still have red flag warnings in, in effect here for the next couple of hours. It extends from Pueblo all the way down south through Trinidad. So along the I-25 corridor, out east towards the county lines, that's where we continue to see these critical fire weather conditions. Uh, outdoor burning not advised any time a red flag warning is in effect. And if a spark were to occur, these conditions would allow for a rapidly growing wildfire. So keep that in mind. Now, an area where the fire is or where that red flag warning is in effect is Trinidad. Look at the wind here coming out of the west at about 29 miles per hour. Temperature 66 degrees. Pueblo this afternoon still in the low 70s, so very warm once again, not really breaking out of this warm start to March just yet. Now in the springs currently sitting at 60 here with winds out of the west at about 13 miles per hour. Now there is some colder weather ahead in the forecast, but that's still a few days off. We're going to get even warmer tomorrow. Windy weather conditions sticking around through Thursday. Snow likely in the forecast here by Friday and then a nice weekend to follow with plenty of melting. So it's a one day big drop in temperatures and then temps do rise back up heading into Saturday and Sunday. Now we're watching a few weak systems moving into Colorado. One right now a cold front which is bringing some snow up towards the northern and central mountains. Just a few inches expected here with most of it tapering off by early tomorrow morning. You can see for the rest of us in southern Colorado not expecting much in the way of activity. In fact, we'll start out again with lots of sunshine before another system moves in from the west southwest this time, spreading snow back into the central mountains by tomorrow afternoon. Overall temperatures continue to stay on the warm side of average and by about 15 to 20 degrees above the average highs for this time of the year. So here is that cold front. This is the one that's going to bring the snow tonight and is kicking up the wind here south and east of the front. As we look out to the west, we're talking about this big transition from spring to winter conditions as we're tracking these late week changes. The models now bringing in a little more consistency. That's good news. We look for that and it's showing a more northerly track again tonight versus what we saw last night. So snow looking a little bit more likely on Friday. I think Thursday we stay dry. That snow likely not picking up until around sunrise or maybe a little after that Friday morning. So Thursday night looks good, but here's the timing. Friday morning the snow is south of Denver, but it looks like the springs into Pueblo could be seeing snow or a rain snow mix. And I think the system has a fair amount of warm air. So notice the south these plains. This might be an entirely liquid precip event, whereas areas closer to Highway 50 or even up north towards I-70, it would be all snow. It does taper off Friday night into Saturday morning, and again, that's going to set the stage for some nice conditions here at home heading into your upcoming weekend. So lows tonight dropping down to near freezing. Once again, we'll call it seasonably mild and highs tomorrow. Well, well above average with upper 60s in the springs will be around 60 degrees in Monument, uh, 74 for Pueblo and 75 out east towards La Junta and Lamar. So over the next seven days, enjoy the warm stuff Wednesday and Thursday. We have a big drop in temperatures heading into the end of the week. So Friday, 34 degrees for the high. But look how quickly we rebound back to the 50s this weekend, which offers up plenty of melting. And I would say an early estimate in the springs, probably anywhere between two and five inches of snow. Pueblo, 74 on Wednesday, 69 degrees Thursday. The wind sticking around the next 24 to 48 hours. A mixed precip event on Friday, dry, mild conditions for the weekend. For Canyon City, we've got that snow mix coming in on Friday. Then we dry things out. We're taking all the way to St. Paddy's Day on the seven day forecast, and it's possible we could have another storm heading into early next week. Woodland Park, 50s here for the next couple of days. Highs right near the freezing mark with snow in the forecast on Friday. Elizabeth? Alan,